all the different types of cancer. It can be overwhelming, but cancer researchers continue to come up with new and better ways to treat those cancers and to offer hope. In June, a new clinic opened at Mount Carmel St. Anne's campus, bringing an alternative to traditional radiation therapy. Bob Nunley has that story. They pretty much told me that I really needed to take the long-term radiation. But Dora Mayer soon found out there was another option, CyberKnife. The computer-controlled robot tracks and destroys tumors with high doses of radiation. It's definitely um, been a different experience having CyberKnife because all of a sudden we're able to uh, consider treating some things that we never would have been able to do before. Using MRI and CAT scan images, the doctors, working along with physicists, are able to pinpoint the tumor and make sure that only the tumor gets the radiation. One of the advantages of this system is we take these very highly uh, accurate uh, images and also during the course of treatment, the, the machine itself is also taking images during the course of treatment to make sure it matches up with the images we took uh, at the time of planning so that the, the robot knows that it's actually uh, treating the tumor appropriately. The computer also detects movement, so it can adjust to the movement of the patient as they breathe. And since they're focusing only on the tumors, they can accomplish in one to five treatments what takes six to eight weeks of low radiation. Nothing to the treatments, no pain, nothing. You don't get sick, I haven't had any side effects. The cost of CyberKnife matches the cost of conventional treatments because there are fewer treatments, and most insurances will cover the cost. OSU's James Cancer Center has similar technology. My prayers have been answered, and it was the biggest blessing that's ever happened to me, and it's going to work for me. For Stand Up to Cancer Columbus, I'm Bob Nunley.